And while education ACAPs in Nigeria may be getting more respite with sub-infrastructure supports from the federal government, 109 satellite-based educational centers across the country have been approved by the federal government. Its senatorial district will get one for its primary education. The reports. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, who briefed on behalf of Ministers of Education and Evasion after this week's Federal Executive Council meeting, also hinted that the Council has approved the upgrade of 12 airport control towers and communication systems at the contract sum of 9.988 billion naira with a completion period of nine months. And I don't think uh, because we're having challenges with the university, you know, uh, lecturers, we should stop, you know, primary school students or school students from, uh, you know, continuing with their education. And um, I wish that the ASU issue is as simple as many of us think it is. I don't think it's that simple, but I want to assure you that uh, a lot is going on behind the scenes. And I think uh, the, probably the Minister of Education will be in a better position to give the details. But uh, like any government, I mean, if we're not concerned, we'll not set up all the communities we have been working on. If we're not concerned, we'll not you know, be looking for you know, means to even uh, you know, assuage the, the feelings of the uh, union. Meanwhile, the Minister of Interior, Raouf Arek Bachelor, announced the repeal of the 60-year-old Fire Service Act of the Nigerian Fire Service. The Minister of Justice has consequently been directed to present a new enactment to the National Assembly with a view to upgrading the efficiency and effectiveness in the operations of the men of the Nigerian Fire Service. The Council approved the enactment of the Federal Fire and Rescue Service Establishment Act 2022, which is meant to bring into currency the operations and professionalism of the Federal Fire Service in its delivery of service to Nigerians and establishments in Nigeria as it is expected. And with this act that the Attorney General is required to process and present to the National Assembly for review and ultimate passage. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Works also got approval for the rehabilitation of the 91.94 kilometres Kanchibele Takum Shanshage Road in Taraba State for the contract sum of 68.983 billion naira. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.